this was all about the some uh, very important concepts uh, in the renal module uh, which are frequently tested in your examination both uh, in the mcq component and the osp component as well so uh, basically i planned uh, this session and designed this session according to uh, the interactive case based uh, type of session but unfortunately again we are going online so i would uh, keep the same flow is of the uh, case based case based type of learning so i just want you to concentrate uh, on uh, these cases and try to relate these cases what you have learned in your real module i would appreciate if you can interact with me um, either through um, unmuting yourself or responding me in the chat box as well so so that uh, so that uh, this uh, session can become an interactive session okay right so let's start with the case one and the case one is uh, about uh, a two year old boy uh, who was referred to a pediatric dental office so that means um, certainly he is having some sort of uh, dental or dentures problem uh, with him Uh, that uh, his parents were trying to figure out and there was a complaint that uh, he used to there, there, there is a habit of repeated biting and chewing of the lip right he keeps on biting and chewing lips aapne dekha hoga aksar bachcho mein bhi aur bado mein bhi kuch log ki aadat hoti hai ki wo lip biting karte rehte hain and sometimes uh, his parents also observed that this lip chewing and biting becomes aggressive sometimes it even going to bite his tongue as well a medical history revealed a normal pregnancy there was uh, nothing abnormal uh, with the mother uh, during 9 uh, weeks of pregnancy but uh, and, but but when this child was 4 months old there was a diagnosis of hypotonia made that means he was like a somewhat like a floppy baby like a, a decreased muscle tone and inactive sort of child at the age of 4 month the child also displayed the self destructive behavior so when i say the self destructive behavior that means that he is a tendency to harm himself and to harm the other things other objects around him the self harm or self mutilation self destruction was a characteristic of this child at the age of 18 months uh, his pediatrician ordered some biochemical or genetic uh, testing uh, for some of the enzymes which which he was thinking that maybe these enzymes are uh, function not functioning normally or maybe these enzymes are congenitally deficient in that so on this biochemical enzymatic analysis he found to have the deficiency of one of the very important enzyme which is known as hgprds okay shortly thereafter the patient was supplied with arm cuffs for self product protections aad bandhi hai uske taaki wo khud ko jo hai nail biting ya finger biting na kar sake which were not tolerated and self mutilation continued सो लेकिन इसके बावजूद भी किसी न किसी एक्सटेंड में किसी न किसी करते जहाँ उसको कुछ मौका मिलता था तो सेल्फ म्यूटिलेट करता था खुद को हार्म करता था फिंगर बाइट नेल बाइट दिस वॉज दैबिट इवेंचुअली द एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ ऑल प्राइमरी टीथ वॉज डीम नेसेसरी टू प्रिवेंट एडिशनल मेडिकल प्रॉब्लम फॉर हिस्स चाइल्ड तो सोचा यह कि हार बांधने से काम तो काम नहीं हो रहा जो उसका बिहेवियर है सेल्फ डिस्ट्रक्शन का वो तो उसी तरीके से बाइट कर रहा है तो डिसाइड ये हुआ कि उसके सारे के सारे जो ये इंसाइजर्स हैं जो दांत हैं ये निकाल दें जब वो निकाल देंगे तो जाहिर है तो सेल्फ बाइटिंग नहीं करेगा तो फॉर दिस रीजन फॉर दिस पर्पस ही वाज विजिटेड टू अ पीडियाट्रिक क्लिनिक फॉर फॉर कंसल्टेशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक व्हाट्स कमिंग इन योर माइंड आफ्टर रिव्यूइंग ऑल दिस सिनेरियो व्हाट इट इज Lashnayan syndrome due to okay 
what are the characteristics the one one of the clue that was given or just let me know the clue that were given let me know the clues that were given in the scenario self mutilation is a clue theek hai finger is in right cell phone fine okay 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 what else increased increased enzyme levels which enzyme level is increased is it will it be increased or decreased deficiency definitely right so basically there were yes degrees so basically there there were two hints in the scenario uh number 1 uh it is fairly uh, clear that if there is an hgprts deficiency that means he is going to have leshna hands and all but even then if there is if there is no mention of the hgprts or any enzyme deficiency then you should be able to uh rule out or able to exclude or diagnose the situation either from the uh, presentation given and the uh, aggressive self destructive self self mutilation behavior is a characteristics of the leshnai hand syndrome so we will talk about it in a detail in while okay so this was yes all about the leshnai hand syndrome now look at this one he is a 41 year old male who presented to a clinic two days ago complaining of awakening with severe left knee pain so when he woke he woke up and he found that the his left knee was uh, aching also he noticed some sort of swelling around the left knee joint and erythema erythema means the redness or the tenderness around the knee joint so that that is these two characteristics erythema and swelling are making the knee joint highly inflamed or the tender okay what happens after that he states the pain was in and all around the joint area he thought he overdid playing with the kids he, he he thought that maybe it is due to the exertion it is due to the overworking uh, in the play yard since it was a weekend as well the pain persisted throughout the day despite taking two ansets tablets what are the ansets by the way ansets are the non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs that are used or found therapeutically to treat the painful conditions but even after taking these tablets the pain persisted he had a similar episode of sudden onset of pain upon waking up in the morning in his right toe uh, a few days a few days uh, earlier he had a similar episode but that was characteristic that, that was not present in the uh, knee joint but in the right big toe so he thought that maybe there is some injury he stuck with his uh, right toe so that was that that's why he ignored that thing so what this scenario is uh, leading towards is it gout why do you say that it, it is gout hyperuricemia pecto yes pecto pain in pecto good joint inflammation to so inflammation of all the joints who is that uh, raba pain in joints to so pain in joints is a generalized term any joint can be knee joints so what is what is a characteristic clue which is leading towards the gout type of arthritis or gout you said swelling there are number of conditions in which there are swellings as well metatarso yes metatarso phalangeal joint pain yes one of you has said already said the hyperuricemia is there any relationship in between hyperuricemia and gout or are the gout and hyperuricemia are the same things or the different is the gout or hyperuricemia are the same thing or the different one same no it's not same yes who is that amna uh, sorry before amna is uh, 
uh, Mufleha. Yes, Mufleha, you're right that hyperuricemia leads to gout. Okay, so these are two other uh, two different uh, scenarios. And characteristically, that if it is arthritis, if it is gout, if it is uh, involving the big joints, the large joints for a longer period of time, there is also fever and chills uh, uh, present with the condition as well because of the inflammation uh, present there. Okay. So this was about the our second scenario. Now, the third one. <clears throat> a third. Uh, it's a story of a three-month-old girl, and uh, this girl was referred for recurrent fever, pneumonia, diarrhea, chronic dermatitis, and failure to thrive, and the motor function retardation as well. So these were the. Uh, findings due to which she was referred to a uh, hospital or a clinic. The patient was the daughter of consanguineous parents. Um, her parents were uh, cousins uh, uh, in, uh, in, in relationship and had a female sibling who had died due to recurrent infection. So that means uh, one of her siblings uh, has had similar sort of uh, symptoms of recurrent infections, but and she couldn't survive because of these. Okay. On a physical examination, she found to be have lower than the fixed uh, percentiles, the third percentile. I mean, okay, her weight, height, and her, her head circumference were not up to the level where it should be at the age of three months. So she was lacking in that. She suffered from oral thrush that is um, some sort of uh, in fungal type of infections uh, within the oral cavity and a diffuse brownish colored macular rash on the trunk. So not only it's a fungal or the thrush in the oral cavity, but uh, uh, her abdomen, her central part of the body is also uh, overloaded with the uh, macular rash type uh, uh, presentation. Chest auscultation revealed bilateral crackles. <clears throat> when we say that bilateral cra crackles, or you can say bilateral crepitations, means there are bubbling sounds or the crackling sounds which are heard when you, you when you place a stethoscope on the lower halves of the uh, chest cage. So that indicates that in the lungs there is some 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 sort of exudate of present, which is leading to the crackling sound, which, and it is characteristic of active infection, pneumonia in the lungs, okay. Laboratory test revealed mild anemia with profound lymphocytopenia. This cell lineage is lymphocytes come there, white cells come there, and hypogammaglobinemia, immunoglobulins become this, the uh, cell lineage is Purine nucleoside phospho uh, pyrolase deficiency. Uh, when it is at, uh, analyzed, uh, these enzymes were measured. So, purine, nucleoside, phosphorylase, and adenosine deaminase enzymes activities were measured. And uh, one of the enzymes, uh, ADA, which is adenosine deaminase activity, it was deficient. Whereas, uh, purine, nucleoside, phosphorylase uh, activity was normal in the range. Okay, now, so let me know that what do you think? What it is? ADA deficiency, skid, skid, yogita. Okay, what is that skid, by the way? What is skid? Severe combined immunodeficiency, which is the full form here. Challenge. Immunodeficiency due to, okay, right. Let's see, let's see. So it is, if we talk about all three cases, so Vicks metabolism, these all three cases are revolving around. What do you think? Uh, it's it's around the purine metabolism or the nucleotide metabolism. Okay. So 
these all three cases are <clears throat> revolving around the abnormalities in purine metabolism. So that means the purine metabolism involves like uh, its uh, synthetic arm, the synthesis of purines, and its degradative arm, its catabolic arm, which is breakdown of the purine metabolism. Uh, purine nucleotides. So abnormalities in both the 